how to build the perfect T-stud corner. Okay, this is your this is your option that you have today. This is what like literally all builders do today. Okay, they use this much lumber in the corner. That's how they fasten them together today. You can see all of the places to transfer cold and heat. It just travels right through that all those framing members like a hot knife through butter. Okay, so we take this and we throw this away. Okay, so here's your layout. Bare naked T-stud, bare naked T-stud. Here's how you do the corner. Okay, so this is the corner all finished. And then I'm going to take it apart for you, right? So run your studs this way, run the studs that way. I turned this bare naked T-stud around this way so I could nail it together in the field easily with a three and a half inch nail gun. Okay, when you, this is your nailer for your drywall, you're going to have a little harder time doing this because your three and a half inch nail gun won't quite reach it, nor can you get in behind in order to get it. So you're probably just gonna run some screws through here. This will already be fastened, either a two by three or two by four, in this wall at the bottom and at the top. So you gotta pinch this thing together. So I would just go grab some screws and screw it together to suck it up tight. Okay, so take this one out. This is your T-stud perfect corner. So, you got, this is all your, this is your bottom plate. Obviously, I got to take out my crayons today. I'm going to take this stud out, take this stud away, and here's what you have left. This is your wood, and this is your thermal brake running all the way through it. The only thing you got in here is a couple of dowels. So, in that wall assembly over there, you had 15 lineal inches, 16 lineal inches of transfer for places for heat and cold to transfer all the way through. You only have the dowels here and they're insulated. So you only had four square inches of dowel in this one foot. And they're pre-insulated by having cellulose, fiberglass, um, closed cell spray foam around them. But look at all the places that you have in order to keep that whole entire corner energy efficient. And when you wanna to try to beat, go from 24% BTU reduction to 50% to 75% reduction, all of these little tricks come into play in order to knock down places for heat and cold to transfer through the wall. And this is a monster. This, this is 300% more energy efficient than that over there. It's a big number. This is how you build the T-Stud Perfect Corner. Thanks for listening.